Hi guys and welcome to this episode of Fishy Angler. Today's episode is a bit different. I am at the back spawn for the cleanup event that was organized by Legion of Anglers. So we are trying to give back to the community and just to clean up the public area. There is a park on the other side and uh, we're just gonna go and pick up all the trash and clean up so it's just our way to give back. So anyway, so let's get to it and see. Um, there's several people that signed up that didn't show up, but I think, you know, it's gonna be enough people to do the cleanup. First hardcore people to arrive to the event. Can't feel my fingers, but we oh well. Here. Yeah, it's it is what pockets. it is. So hopefully more people will show up. Welcome everybody uh, to the first of this year, the uh, first state legion language cleanup at Bex Pond. Uh, really glad everybody showed up. Hopefully we'll have more coming in. Uh, yeah. So here we are, Bex Pond famous for the activities that happen here at night. We're urging caution. Uh, <laughs> you may find needles, you may find razors, you may find all manner of stuff. Paraphernalia. <laughs> Paraphernalia. Please be cautious. Uh, somebody's already been out here to clean up most of this uh, over the span of the last couple of weeks, so it's not gonna be too bad, but we can still make it dead. When we're done with the cleanup, uh, we'll pile up all the trash like kind of around this area over here and uh, we'll get a photo with it so we can prove that we made a difference. And uh, then we'll move in. I got cans out here. Okay, oh, we can use, okay. Yep. Then uh, we'll hit the water, see if we can do some fishing. Anybody got any questions, concerns? All right, so. Any intro? I think we should go, each go around and introduce ourselves Absolutely. for the people watching and everything. So Absolutely. I'll start with me. I'm David, Orange22 Fishing on YouTube and Instagram, as well as Matt. David's brother. <laughs> <laughs> the other half of World's 22. Right, so I'm Adam Kerrigan. Uh, Kerrigan fishing, as it's written on the side of the boat. Although well, you can't even see it right now. But yeah, uh, first day Legion of Anglers. I'm Walter. I uh, see you guys on Facebook. I like what you do. I like your calls. You know, I like how you guys come out and pick up trash to make it better for the next person that wants to come out and fish. I'm just out here to help. Get, for, get a hot dog, too. I'm Eric. Just Eric. <laughs> <laughs> That's you, Rod. And I am Rodney Coates, aka Tight Lines 302, and we are first state chapter of Legion of Anglers. And of course, Fishy Anglers, yours truly. What's up, dude? So we hopefully will get more people today, but I don't know. If not, still the event will be underway. And uh, is this going on your channel? Mm -hmm. I just want to add uh, the uh, First State Legion of Anglers is the reigning champion of the Legion of Anglers. There's a, supposedly a video coming out of the Maryland boys getting soundly beaten. Uh, but somehow it hasn't seen the light of day. I don't know why that ha has happened. But we're going to get another chance to get out there on the water with some of those boys. It's going to be good. What's up, Sean? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys ready? All right, yep. All right, All right let's do it. Okay, cool. started this corner and going that way oh boy here we go all kinds of garbage and we have an opportunity to win the frog well it was a joke but <laughs> whoever finds first condom gets the free frog yeah look how much all this garbage here in the corner oh boy all right we'll continue our effort to clean this place up yeah, food items and everything Uh, 
McDonald's chicken nugget sauces. And Yeah, somebody, somebody's using it as a dining <laughs> area. Food items. Uh, food leftovers. Oh, there it is. There we go. There's our frog winner. No, they, they already got some over there. Oh. It's easy to do it. Yeah. All right. Well, that's much better. Well, here in the bushes, people sitting at the table, drinking whatever, and tossing deeper into the into the brush, so it wouldn't be seen. But now, and now it's harder to get it out. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. This brush here is pretty thick. But we just have to try to get in and get this stuff out. Get this garbage and the cans and the bottles. All kinds of stuff. Well, look at this mess from this place. Wow. All right. So this was pretty much the last spot. Small papers and wrappers from the food and stuff. Trash. And the guys have more trash over there. Dad, thank you. No worries. Man. Hot dogs are cooking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Appreciate so, you, Gary. This is what we got here. This pile of garbage. I mean, just from one side of the pond here, from the public area. But this is our way, a small way to give back to the community. I mean, we fish in Delaware ponds, so that pretty much helps for other people to come in and uh, enjoy this area. All right, guys, and now we're all gonna go and try to catch some fish. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. All right, guys. Yeah, those guys setting up the kayak going in and we'll try here on a little jig see if we can catch some panfish and fish on guys <laughs> First fish, and what we got? We got a shiner. <laughs> and I failed to hook them. 
track. He was there trying to take it. There you go. First fish of the day. Let's see if any other panfish is here. The bite is slow, but there is one here and there. And fish on, guys. <laughs> there was a bite and fish on. What do we got here? We got a crappie. All right, look at this, guys. It's a decent crappie, and he took it pretty, pretty nicely. He took it and started running with it. There you go. Second fish, crappie. All right, let's see if we can catch some more panfish. Yeah, this fishing ultralight setup is fun. So I'm using ultralight uh, Daiwa Presser rod. It's, this one is uh, six feet, six inches long and also I pair it with a Daiwa Daiwa Reros. Uh, looks like I got the uh, I got the knot in the line. So yeah, anyhow, uh, so this is this is Reros uh, LT1000. So it's pairing up pairing up pretty good. Uh, the spool big enough, so it's not too small and. Uh, it works very well in this setup, so I'm happy. Uh, the rod also, this one is 6'6", so it's not as flimsy as six-footer uh, uh, presser that Daiwa has. So it has a little bit of backbone. So I like this setup. So let's see if we can catch some other fish here. fish on guys <laughs> yeah, another shiner another small shiner that's what's biting there barely barely <laughs> all right yeah I haven't fish ultralight I started with the bass fishing and pretty much never fish ultralight setup but because it's a small fish I guess but it's really fun I mean on the ultralight even small fish kind of give you a fight on a ultralight tackle so it's kind of fun Sometimes, you know, just to get out, out there and uh, do this fishing, you know, that we probably all did uh, being kids back then. So, yeah, looks like I'm getting another bite. Something took it and dropped it. So, yeah, I mean, it's just fun to catch big bass or some other big fish I mean it's good it's but sometimes you want to have just plain fun of pan fishing like this well guys this was my day we did a good deed we clean up the public area here at Beck's Pond and also I caught a few pan fish in a pond that I never fished before <laughs> so that is a good day in my book thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.